let's talk about Crowder. There's some fucking crazy Crowder allegations out there. Again, as someone said in the Friday Kids subreddit, Brian definitely knows how to pick them. And it's funny, isn't it? It's like, what's that, what's that thing called? Um, Birds of a feather flock together, right? Um, this is basically what is happening here. Brian, you know, decides to do a bit of a pivot in his career, which I thought was a smart decision. I thought Brian deciding to link up with Stephen Crowder was actually a smart move, considering that, you know, he's in his mid-50s, his comedy is fucking garbage in my opinion, but you know, some people like it, but it's a bit stale, that stick, that shtick of being like the man alpha thing. And you know, it's just odd coming from a, a dude like him over time. Um, his Hollywood career is obviously on ice now since the allegations of rape and shit. So that's completely over. So the pivot into being like, you know, a right wing grifter is actually a good idea, especially considering how old, how old he's getting. But unfortunately for him, the timing is awful. Just after he announced he was going to link up with Crowder, the video comes out of him abusing his now ex-wife, which is heavily pregnant and shit, and being just a dickhead on camera and talking to her like a, like she's a piece of shit, in, in, basically, um, which obviously didn't paint him out in a good light. Then everyone coming out saying the bad things about him, Candace Owens being one of them. And now we've got this article courtesy of Mediate that says this. Look at this headline for Stephen Crowd staffers exit after in, um, interrogations and insane NDAs. So Stephen Crowder is a menace behind the scenes, which makes sense though. I think a lot of people have been saying this from a while. I've never really paid attention to his content that much. I'd watch the odd video of him, deb that whole debate me thing, where you go to college campuses and have some interesting debates. I kind of enjoyed them, I'm not gonna lie, because there'd be some times where some college kids would be a really good match for him debate wise. But, People that were paying attention were calling him out from a while back. People, the people that were really clocking his content were saying, "This guy is fucking unhinged." Even before Dave Landau came out and said his shit, is that his name? Dave, that that Landau guy. People were calling him out for a while, so it's interesting to see it's all being proven somewhat correct that you know he's a menace. So, media article says Stephen Crowder sent draconian non-disclosure agreements to his staff with a hundred thousand dollar breach contract penalty after Mediate reported on allegations of workplace misconduct at a right-wing comment in his Rumble show. So recently he did this. So I guess they wrote an article about him before, and then he responded and said, "Nah, no more." Last month, Mediate reported on allegations of bullying, inappropriate drug use. <laughs> what? See, you guys keep accusing me of muting my mic and fucking blowing my nose of doing drugs but louder with crowder steven crowder is being accused of actually doing some drugs while he's on air which makes sense why he's fucking always so you know jittery and shit and you know can't stop fucking ranting and talking he's actually out there doing drugs so you guys should stop abusing me and you know direct your attention somewhere else Anyway, lewd sexual workplace misconduct with louder Ricardo, the popular online show that recently joined rumble a YouTube alternative. Two hours after Mediate published a follow-up report detailing an internal staff meeting at Louder with Crowder, um, held in response to the internal story in which the CEO, Gerald Morgan, told staffers they could no longer communicate with former employees, NDAs were sent out. Wow. The agreements which were reviewed by Mediate were emailed to current Louder with Crowder employees on July 26 and read in part. Employee maintains his promises and covenants not to disclose confidential information as defined in the amendment company will provide employee with confidential information during a period of which employee is employed by the company fucking hell big words there the agreement added that if a breach of contract should occur the employee would be liable to the company for liquidated damages in the amount of one hundred thousand dollars so if you if you spoke about anything that happened behind the scenes if you spoke about seeing fucking allegedly louder with crowder maybe walking into a fucking toilet with another male you would get in a big big trouble which is horrible to see really to be honest silencing the employees i thought these guys believed in free speech huh i thought they believed in free speech interesting it's almost as if they're all full of shit anyway it continues i hereby acknowledge that the said damages are reasonable do not um cons constitute a penalty and i further agree that i will not this contest the reasonableness of said liquidated damages in any such action commenced by either party with respect to the amendment the agreement stated the staffers were told that they had to sign the nda by friday on july 27th crowder held a meeting in which he warned staff against speaking out i quote Stephen was livid as source close to Rumble said, imagine he said don't speak and then they immediately spoke. <laughs> Quote, 
He and Gerald Morgan said that they knew someone was talking to you, the author of this piece, based on the article you wrote. They said whoever text messaged former employees about us not being able to hang out with them would be given amnesty if he confessed by 2 p.m. 2 Never believe that sort of shit. If you ever work somewhere and they tell you, hey, just tell me the truth and you'll be fine, never believe them. Shut your fucking mouth and keep working. I've made that mistake in myself in the workplace. Never believe HR. HR's not there to help you. They're there to protect the company. I think when you work for a company, you, you have this weird, naive idea that HR are actually there to safeguard the employees. No, they're there to safeguard the employer. So keep your mouth shut. Keep working. If you don't like your conditions, find another job. But don't believe them when they say, hey, just tell me the truth and we'll work something out. That's a ruse. That's a fucking scam. They're trying to get you to fucking confess and then they're going to fuck you over. Never do that. It continues. If no one confessed that they would see it as a malice, no one confessed so they started interrogating a few people. Lols. It continues. During the meeting, Crowder downplayed his sexual misconduct allegations and said another source closer to the soon be divorced father of two. What's the theory on people in the chat? Do you guys agree? Do you guys think that he's actually undercover he may be down low crowder and this is why he's acting out because i've heard that theory floated the theory is that he's frustrated that he can't come out or whatever it may be or because he doesn't want to or doesn't want to accept who he is and that's why he acts like a dickhead what do you guys think i don't think so i just think he's a dickhead personally i don't think the not wanting to come out or accepting his sexuality is a point i just think fundamentally he's a bit of a dickhead because he comes across like a bit of an insufferable obnoxious guy personally what do you guys think that's a weird theory people put out there because that's, you know, it's a weird theory. Yes, you can tell that um, the way he talked to his wife, he resents women, yeah. <laughs> Lows. He walks boys to their trucks. <laughs> Stingagu. That's an awful line. Um, Stingagu saying he's gay as fuck. He wants stick, bruv. I met him in person. He's homeschool weird. Yeah, good fucking coiler brilliant 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 description i would describe him like that yeah he's more homes he's more homeschool weird or like you know i've met kids who, who went to boarding school who went to international school like you know out of the country and shit they are they they're a bit you know they're not all there or like child actors and shit like people that you know theater kids when they grow up they, they're a bit weird as well you know some of them so maybe that's what he's got. He's got more of that energy. Yeah, I see that. I see more of that homeschool thing. Um, hectic first channel saying it's because he's supposedly religious. Yeah, for sure. The religious thing plays into it. But I still just think he's a cunt. You know, you're allowed to be a cunt, but I just think he's a cunt. Um, <laughs> Z asks a very important question. Why pull out your privates at work around other guys if you're hetero? <laughs> very good question, Z. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Maybe he wanted to show them a cool piercing he had. <laughs> maybe he wanted some advice. <laughs> or wait, maybe he wanted to double check if like everybody's dick was that big, you know? Hey guys, like is have 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 you all guy have you all got a big schlong like I have? <laughs> Just double check. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted to paint with it. I don't know. I don't know. John says John Doe says, it's all to protect the advertising dollars. Suck, snort, shoot. Whenever you want to as an adult, just don't go public with it or his middle-aged disgruntled fans will jump ship. Okay, that's fair. Let's continue here. Let's say, it says, the NDA was insane, said the source at, to Crowder. The quote, sorry, most employees were scared because of it. Some talked to lawyers about it because they were afraid. But Stevens' increasing justifications of his workplace sexual behaviour between men makes a lot of male employees uncomfortable hold on what excuse me steven's increasing justification how's he justifying it if you guys know the chat how's he justifying it? is he saying it's just like boys humor it's just locker room talk like how's he justifying he always says this joke okay here we go he says in the line my bad i should have read on the quote he always says it's joking but it doesn't seem like a joke to anyone anymore i've said this before like i think you can tell like the Lizzo thing is a good example. You can tell the people who are defending Lizzo, you can tell they've never had a, a regular job because if you know working in a regular job, there's loads of like, what do you call it? There's loads of like, um, how do you say it? There's loads of like soft abuse that happens in regular jobs. 
loads of like soft bullying, soft intimidation. And sometimes you feel like you get coerced into things because you want to, you know, be in the good graces of your managers and shit. And one of the things that always kind of happens in workplaces, especially depending on where you are, I've been in a few places like that, especially one of the places I was at called Pollen that went down and went bankrupt because the guys were fucking spending all the company money on cocaine and going to Ibiza and shit. Some workplaces have a very toxic like going out culture where sometimes, you know, you're not part of the in crowd at your workplace because you don't go for drinks on a Friday. So imagine that being the case. You're already working in an environment that's toxic where you kind of feel like you have to go to bars, you have to go out with them after work, you have to go to lunches together in order to feel like you're part of the, you know, you're, you're part of the team. Then imagine on top of that, if you've got a crowd that does stuff like handy shit, like being abusive, invading your space, touching you inappropriately, it's really difficult to kind of, you know, try and stand up for yourself because you want to keep your job, especially in this economy, right? The economy's fucked up. It's hard to get employment these days. Employment rates are through the roof, you know, whatever, right? Like groceries are way more expensive than what they were. Like your your, your money doesn't go as far as it, as it probably did. But Jesus, man, like I can't imagine being in that kind of environment where you're getting, you made to sign NDAs, you're already being abused and fucking bullied and harassed at work and shit. And, you know, and then people tell you, oh, it's okay, it's just part of the fun. No, 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 fuck all that shit. Fuck all that shit. <laughs> What's your... We channeled attack wifey duties. <laughs> that line. <laughs> a former Lado Cat employee said the NDA and bullying tactics are a clear sign that the toxic workplace culture will not be cleaned up anytime soon. The real problems, the quote says here, the real problems never get fixed because the real studio problems revolve around Crowder's refusal to take responsibility, the quote says. The quote, he's never ever to blame. Gerald and Stephen intimidate and bully the staff. They try to divide and conquer. They treat former employees like people who've left their cult and can no longer be trusted. And current employees are commanded not to associate with those former employees. That's strange. I know there's some workplace I've been at where you're not allowed to like invite your former mates to come and meet you at work and shit. You have to kind of meet them at the bar and stuff. It's a bit weird. But it's never like, you're not, you're not you know, ref they don't ever refuse you to speak to them. You know what I mean? That's not how far it goes. It continues here. They compared Louder with Crowder to how, quote unquote, how Scientologists are allowed to associate with people who haven't left the church, who, sorry, who aren't allowed. How corrupt or clueless do you have to be to respond to reports of employee abuse by turning around and threatening employees with a 100K fine? That's why him and Crowder are friends, right? Because you remember I said this before in the pod, I reminded you guys of that story where um, Callan tried to sue the husband of his rape accuser. The one that went to Los Angeles Time and detailed that alleged occurrence where, you know, Callan allegedly raped her. I guess when that story came out, you know, Callan was not getting booked in certain places. And then I guess the husband of the wife of that woman who accused him of fucking, um, uh, you know, the rape, he was obviously trying to defend his woman and he was calling up the clubs and trying to get him counsel, trying to get him like not get books, bookings and shit. And Callan thought the best way to defend himself was to sue the guy for defamation or whatever it may be and obviously that didn't you know that didn't land too well on the internet and people were abusing him even more so it looks like Callan and Crowder have the same approach to silencing people when they're in the wrong you know like it's fucking crazy man the NDA kerfuffle has caused further turmoil among Crowder staff and a new hiring announcement the same week added more fuel to the internal issues Michael Spadon Spadon, I say name Spadon. Michael Spadon, a former field director at Project Veritas, who was accused of kissing and groping a former colleague in a sin settled lawsuit, has been brought on to louder and crowd the team. Of course, they hired somebody with those allegations. They love allegations, people. Sources close to crowd have saw it as a questionable hiring decision due to the recent claims against Spadon. Spadon, quote: The whole situation is obviously extremely concerning for the women who work in the studio. There's women who work there. Okay, I thought it was all dudes. My bad. The my favorite guy from there who's left now is um quarter what's that quarter black J was it Gerard? I forgot his name. He's on like um he's on that channel I watch I sometimes watch. Ah, oh, where they review movies and games and shit. Nerd Rotic, I think, right? I think yeah, Friday Night Tights. He does that sometimes with those guys. So he's quite cool. I I like him. Um. Stephen's sexual habits and behaviors at work are troublesome enough, but to find out a man alleged of sexual assault has been hired by Stephen the same week you handed a fresh NDA for 100,000 penalty would leave anyone scared, said an ex staffer. Crowder did not respond for request uh, for comment. 
bit crazy, man. It's it's seems a bit weird, doesn't it? Seems a bit weird. Seems a bit wild. But again, Brian Shaw knows how to pick them. Now his new boss has crazy allegations against him, and Brian's just going to stick his head in the sand and collect a check because you know I don't blame him. Also, because the guy's got twenty thousand dollars per month in alimony to pay, so I don't blame him for just kind of looking the other way and just collecting the money. I don't blame him because you know, look, he's got money to pay, mate. You know what I mean? Like, it's real. <laughs> 